Hello, here we are with Kicking It With The Wolverine. Well, I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and I say what needs to be said. Not sure if you got to hear the AMAA radio blog show, uh, Pioneers and Legends, Parts Unknown with Professor Gary Lee, and the Kicking It With The Wolverine segment uh, last night. Last night, the professor wanted to talk about loyalty. And loyalty to your instructor, loyalty to the dojo, um, or your dojang, um, and this is something that, that in America is, is more frequent than anywhere, um, and that is the fact that, uh, you know, you can train somebody 10, 5, 10, 20, even longer years, and they look at it like, well, they're not satisfied with what you give them because they want to be you or be in that place of the head instructor, um, so they leave the schools for whatever reason. Uh, usually, they should be no reason to leave your instructor. They're giving to you. They're training you. And it's usually the ones that leave are usually the ones that were freeloaders or that didn't pay for classes, didn't help with fundraisers, didn't do things like that. They just showed up for the knowledge and the training, and then they run off due to ego or wanting to make more money. Uh, to open places. Now, this is pretty common across the board. Should it happen? No. Does it happen? Sure. Will it, it stop? Probably not. Um, you know, there's several ways to deal with it. You can just turn it over to God. Um, you know, is 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 probably the best way just to, to handle it. Um, but he wanted to talk about that. So, you know, listen, if, if you're in that situation, you need to sit down and talk with your instructor because the legacy you've built with your instructors, like that I built with my instructors, um, that's something that you will have for life. Uh, you know, leaving, starting your own thing without the blessing of your your main instructor, um, that's usually not going to get you very far. And you know, people know that you did that. And 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 just like I told Professor Gary Lee last night on the radio show. Um, it's, you know, I don't just think bad of the person that would stab their instructor in the back because think about it. If you're the student of somebody that would do that to their instructor, then what do they think about you? They have no problems doing you wrong or stabbing you in the back if you're just a student because it's a, you're just a stepping stone. Also, if people know that someone has done that and then they still show that person respect, that's a person that I look at with more disdain, I guess you would say, and more what than the other person because you know somebody has been, you know, broke that golden rule of loyalty and um, trust, respect, and honor in the school, and then they just overlook it for whatever reason. Um, and a lot of people do that also, again, for money, you know. So, you know, if they're getting something out of it, it's easy to overlook. Um but once again, you know, if you if you're in that situation, try to talk to your instructor, work things out. I'm sure that they that they can be something arranged, you know, um, because all in all, most most martial arts instructors are pretty good guys and 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 girls that I've talked to, and um, you know, everybody's going to have disagreements. But the martial arts is is family, and um, when you come into a martial arts school, everyone becomes family, and you know, the last person you should be screwing over is your family. But a lot of times, family is the ones that, that does it the worst. So just, just be careful out there, ladies and gentlemen. And um, if you're somebody that's thinking about doing that, don't do it. Um, if you're somebody that has done it, shame on you. Maybe you should go talk to the instructor, um, and hopefully you won't, you know, catch a beat down. Because um, in martial arts, in the old school ways, that, that's what it was all about. So... Anyway, I want you to talk positive for just a little bit. Um, we got that out of the way. So, look, get in there. Get your training in. It's a new year. Um, you know, uh, from what I heard, the groundhog did not see his shadow. So, I think there's going to be an early spring, which means beach body and weather will be coming right around. So, you need to be getting into training. Um, it'll be warmer soon. Um, so, get in. Get the training. Get those goes winter um, your New Year's resolutions, I'm sure a lot of people made New Year's resolutions about getting in shape and things of that nature. It's February, so you need to get in and, and start working uh, that way to 
uh, a, a better you for the next year and you know who knows maybe if you've never uh, been a martial arts competitor maybe you get into competing and find out it's something you enjoy um, and we hope you do um, like I say get out there stay strong keep your kicks up till next time kicking it with the Wolverine God bless each and every one of you Bless.